Chin, 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 chin. This is the best thing about having crew on board, is they can make you a coffee when you need one. See? Go through that. But it's proper oldie worldy. I love it here. I love all these sort of things. They're quirky. Ahoy there! If you're new to the channel, I'm Heidi and I live and work aboard my canal boat home, the Rum Wench. This little beauty is my lovely rescue dog, Bonnie, who feels that she can take on the world. If you want to watch a middle-aged woman and a dog faffing about, then join us on our quest for adventure as we go in search of fun and giggles. Good morning. Hey up everyone, in the last video you saw me leaving the Coventry Canal and taking it up the Ashby. And I'm moored here now at Sutton Chenny. And what I want to do before I set off cruising today is explore what's right on my doorstep here. And that is an old historic battle site. And as most of you know, living on a boat for me is not all about the cruising, it's the exploring and all the adventures to be had. So just outside my back doors is Ambien Wood and after a short walk through the wood, we get to the battle site. I'm hoping the camera picks this up, it's very windy today, but Jack has come to visit to meet little Bonnie, and we've come to this amazing place to visit the Battle of Bosworth at Ambien Hill. Yeah. Mm, say that after a few rums. <laughs> So this is the site of the Battle of Bosworth, often referred to as Bosworth Field, and it was the last significant battle in the War of the Roses, which was a civil war between the houses of Lancaster and York, which extended across England in the 15th century. So back in the 1400s, over a thousand men lost their lives, including King Richard III. Yeah, all in this place here. And when you are walking around all these grounds, you've got these little machines that you can wind up and they tell you a little bit of history. It's just fantastic. There's a visitor centre, there's a little cafe. There's lots of little things to see and do to keep you amused. And all this was a 10 minute walk from where I was moored on the Ashby Canal. So I had to go and visit that place then. It was just amazing. But I've just been getting the boat ready to set off cruising and John and Jan are moored on a boat in front and they've just given me a massive box of organic vegetables. There's everything in here. I've got mushrooms, potatoes, there's some green beans, there's some grapes. There's even a little tin of dog food for Bonnie. Oh, how kind's that? I, I keep saying this, but people are just so lovely. It's such a lovely, lovely couple. So I'm going to use that later. Make myself a huge pan of sausage casserole. Yeah, like a nice sausage. Anyway, we're going to go cruising now. And today I will not be on my own. I won't be single handing. It's so nice having crew because Jackie just cast off the front and I untied the back. So easier, so much easier. Yeah, you forget how hard work it is single handing sometimes. <laughs> So we headed to the Battle of Bosworth this morning and we had a good walk around there and saw where King Richard III died. Yeah, it was lovely. And then we've just been to the cafe now and got bacon butties and we're setting off now. We're cruising to Shackerston because there's a railway line there. But it's so lovely having a crewmate with me today. It just makes a big difference. It's just nice to be back out on the water and see all the little babies, see the little moorhens, the geese and the swans. Missed all that. Yeah, so we take that for granted. Living on a boat, you take for granted all the nature, really. It's so beautiful. And this canal is full of beauty. It's beautiful. Hey, 
Jane, this is the best thing about having crew on board, is they can make you a coffee when you need one. Go through that. So Jax, how does it feel being back cruising on a boat after 18 months? It's nice, isn't it? I mean, I've come and visited you on the boat, but I've not cruised and look at it, it's beautiful. I have missed it. You miss all this. What do you miss? What would you say? So to people that have never been on a boat before, what would you say are the positives? Just being outside in nature. The things that you see. If I count up all the things I've seen over the years on the canal, it's absolutely amazing. Things I would never have seen in normal sort of day-to-day -day life. The places that you see, you can, you can go somewhere that you know really well, like even like towns and countryside, but you see a completely different perspective of that area from the canal when you're on the canal. It's, it's unusual. And what would you say are the negatives about boat life? <laughs> I think it's all the dull chores which you make an adventure out of, like your sort of toilets, bins, having to stop topping up for water. Sometimes it can take you two, three times as long to get from A to B. I mean, you, you might think it's a five hour journey. That five hour journey could turn into a 10 hour journey if there's a tree down or a lock's been shut. <laughs> we got, we got stuck for three months. And we got stuck once in West on, Yorkshire. when we, the Trent was in flood. We were on the Irrawash Canal down near Nottingham, yeah. that area. And the Trent went into flood. So we've had our fair share of being trapped the wrong side of stoppages. Yeah, but I mean, I love it. I love this life. I love everything. I love, if I'm stuck, it, I'm stuck and there's nothing I can do. But it does frustrate you sometimes, doesn't it? When <laughs> she thinks, oh, I'll come cruising. It's only going to take two hours. And then it ends up taking four. But it is beautiful, isn't it? It is. And it's it? great having you on board today. I oh, know, it's good to be back. Briefly. <laughs> So the purpose of Jackie's visit today was to meet little Bonnie. I've had Bonnie over three months now and she's just gorgeous, but Jackie's never met her. My new best friend, aren't you? Hey. Can I just give a big shout out to Jerry Rahm, Gadget, Mountain Rose and Dan and Beth in Oregon for becoming supporters of the channel via Patreon. Thank you so much guys and also just a big shout out to Oliver Garrett. Thank you. been a little bit of a change of plan because it's hard going on this Ashby because it is so shallow I just really struggling to get any speed up so we've decided to stop at the next visitor moorings which is going to be Market Bosworth the canal is absolutely beautiful but it is very very shallow and I am struggling with my draft on my boat even if you take a corner slightly wrong you're grounding so it's hard work but I'm still glad I'm doing it. It's just taking a lot longer than normal. And this is the thing with boat life, is you think to yourself, all oh, right, well, this will only take us two hours. Let's do this. And you're two hours in and not even made it halfway. <laughs> it's the joys of boating. So this is the best thing I love about boat life. I've just passed the boat then, Carp Dem, and I've not seen that couple since I did the North Oxford. It was before lockdown, it was a long time ago. And they were single handing then, and they opened every single lift bridge and swing bridge for me as we were doing it. So yeah, you just see these familiar faces and it's just, it's beautiful. That's the best thing I love about boating is, is these familiar faces. This community, it's just so warm in. Another little thing that really helps having crew on board is somebody holding your centre rope whilst you try and knock your pins in. It just makes mooring up so much quicker. 
So we've just got ourselves here moored up at Market Bosworth. We're going to go now and try and catch the train to get Jackie back. But have you enjoyed yourself, Jack? Fabulous, yes. Have you ever took it up the Ashby before? No, never. It was a shock. Yeah. <laughs> Grand surprise. <laughs> Loved it. So just a short walk from the boat led us to this amazing, quirky little train station. So this is the Battlefield Heritage Line and it only has three stops. It goes from Shackerston through to Market Bosworth and then Shenton. We're here at Market Bosworth. We're just going to go back to Shenton where the Battle of Bosworth happened just so Jackie can get to the car. But it's proper oldie worldy. I love it here. I love all these sort of things. They're quirky. So this train is proper old school and we were just talking to the conductor then who are all volunteers and he said the guy that's actually driving the train today owns it. Yeah, how cool is that? But it's proper quirky, proper old school this. But I think they do have some steam trains on this line but they're not running at the moment. But it's still a nice old train. Loving it. It's mental isn't it? It's like the, the it's like the old pacers. Wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, wibbly. So apparently this train was built in 1958. How cool is that? So back on the canal now, Jack is about to leave. Have you had a good time, Jack? I had a fabulous time. It's been a brilliant day, got to cruise, but I didn't come here to cruise or see Heidi. I came to meet Bonnie. Look at her, she's such a darling. She is, isn't she? Beautiful, isn't she? She is beautiful. So I'm back on the boat now and I'm in my little studio section. And as most of you know, I write the music on my YouTube videos and I've been showing the progress each week. It does take me a long time to make a piece of music because I have to get in the zone. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I'll spend five or six hours playing around and then just scrap it. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. I've enjoyed myself. But I added the piano, the strings and a bit of choir last week, well, over the last two weeks. And now I've started with the horns. Yeah, a little bit of brass, horny. So I've been playing around with some brass sounds. <laughs> I'm trying to give this piece of music quite an orchestral feel. So today, I'm going to play around with some brass. And also add a few drums. And I thought I'd show you a little bit about how the drums work. So look at this. So I don't use loops. I play all my own drum sounds. And it's quite easy to do. You just need to have a little bit of rhythm. So I've got some different drum sounds on these different keys on the keyboard, which means then I can just play some drums. So with just one keyboard, you've got brass, you've got strings, you've got drums, and you just layer these sounds over the top of each other until you've got a track. So I wanted this to build quite epic. So yeah, I'll show you a little bit of what I've done so far. So that's how far I'm up to at the moment. I've still got loads of parts to add. I might change it completely. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But anyway, it's now rum time and we're going to have a Bundaberg rum today. And I'm going to take you in the rear entrance for this week's ditty. 
And just whilst I am pouring this rum, I just want to say a massive thank you to this week's pirate crew. Thank you for everything you do. It means the world to me. Your name should be appearing now, so thank you so much. Anyway, let's take you in that rear entrance. So I've brought you here in the boatsman's cabin and we've got two little ditties today and one of them is really, really professional. I mean, like it's from a proper poet or something. Not that they're not all professional, but this one. Woo. I have cut it down a little bit because it's quite long and then we've got a really short one at the end. Yeah, so you're ready, you're sitting comfortably, you've got yourselves a drink. Right, so we're on this Bundaberg rum, so cheers everyone. Woohoo! Hmm. Oh, I've earned that today, I really have. Yeah, just wet in the lips. So the first one is from Clive Julianus, and it goes like this. What the heck, it's no big deal, said the sailor to the swan as he swilled his beer and smoked through his ear and played his accordion. The sun was high and the clouds were low as they listened to the north wind blow. I've seen worse a hundred times, said the sailor to his amour, as he spilled his beer and belched through his ear and stumbled across the floor. The tide came in, the rain came down as the water rose to engulf the town. We're a mile up, no land in sight, the sailor did exclaim, as he sipped his beer and nibbled on his ear, and sweet Cupid did take aim. They fell for each other as they fell from the sky and hit the ground dancing in the blink of an eye. Wow. And that, well, that's proper posh, that, isn't it? Isn't that proper profound? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> anyway, let's have another drink, another drink. Just wetting the lips. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's nice, that. Mmm. It's lovely. This one, just a quickie. Rude. This is from La Blaxed. And it goes something like this. Here I sit, broken hearted. I've had four rums and then I farted. <laughs> So that's it for this week. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, really helps. Subscribe down below. If you want to submit me a little ditty, then please do just write it in the comments. I have got loads and loads and loads, and I'm going to try and include them, the good ones anyway, <laughs> when I can in this back room. Yeah. But that's it for this week, guys. So please take care, stay safe, and a massive shout out to my patrons who help me every single week. So take care, speak to you soon, 